Hey guys, this is Greg, uh, one of the PEM fellows in Pocus here at uh, Sick Kids, uh, sharing with you a new clip uh, on P2 Share. Today I wanted to show you kind of a neat image that uh, I think demonstrates two relatively common things that we see during a chest ultrasound, uh, but that we don't actually usually see together, um, which I think is helpful in terms of uh, illustrating some of the differences between these two structures. Um, so without further ado, what I'm referring to, I guess, is the thymus and a consolidation of pneumonia that uh, you would see on a chest ultrasound. Um, and as I said, I mean, it's often that we're going to see uh, a thymus in kids who are, uh, you know, sort of early childhood who've got that thymus that's uh, growing normally. Um, and then it's also common for us to see pneumonias. And, and so, you know, often seeing consolidations is something that we have to tell our learners to, to be careful about in terms of mistaking them for a thymus or vice versa. Um, and so in this image, what you're going to see here is a thymus and a consolidation actually meeting together. And in this case, uh, you can sort of see some of the common differences and similarities um, that these two structures have. Um, the thymus itself is uh, a structure which is typically more hyperechoic. Some people describe it as having a starry sky appearance. And what you're not going to see around a thymus is typically any signs of inflammation. So you're not going to see um, confluent beelines surrounding it. Uh, you're not going to see sort of subpleural consolidations adjacent to the area. Um, whereas with a consolidation, in this case, you can see some of those things that are quite clear. So as the clip runs through towards the end of it, you'll see that there are some confluent beelines behind the consolidation, uh, which is sitting above the thymus. And you can also see some of the other features of a uh, consolidation, which would include uh, air bronchograms and fluid bronchograms, which are actually quite prominent in this case, um, where you can see some of the fluid bronchograms just underneath the uh, rib shadow. So this image, I think, illustrates uh, in a good way the differences between a thymus and a consolidation so hopefully that's helpful for you guys in terms of the next time you're coming across these structures and thinking about how do you differentiate them uh, in a child that your concern might or might not have uh, pneumonia um, so thanks for watching and uh, you can find me on Twitter at, at PemTweety 